Memories filling up my mind and I can't seem to push him back. These times ingrained my mind and I just can't let it go. How did I lose the way through the thing? Got the zoom. Welcome back to the show, everybody. If you guys enjoyed all that Christmas stuff in the previous videos, but let's get back to some scenery and stuff for everybody. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, the sun is about to go down on a Sunday. Figured film a beach for everybody. One day I never have gone to. Let's take a tour.
fisher. Did you see the fisher there? you guys welcome back it's like five o'clock again different day hope you guys enjoyed that beach video there uh, you might not hear audio on that because i noticed that i uh, had the sniffles and this is a different camera i'm using it picked it up a lot more than i thought but we'll see i'll edit maybe i'll let you guys hear a couple of those nasal nasal congestions but let's go and see what we can find today right behind uh, Kauai Marriott and what you're looking at over there is a uh, Hokuala you're trying to get some wildlife come here duckies duckies oh oh he wants to be on film you're on camera there we go extend my pole a little bit there So different camera I'm using. It's fortunate to get a hold of a still a GoPro, but this is the black edition. So the white balance is a little bit better than my silver. And I realized yesterday that the audio is a lot better too. All right, so I brought you back. Uh, zoomed it a little bit better. It's gonna be a little bit of a evening shadow because it is evening and uh, let me go walk in the I just missed a duck fight that was going on over there are they fighting no, yeah so this is a parking lot shot That water that I was filming over here, the lagoons and stuff, used to have a boat ride. They used to go through this huge lagoon. And this right here used to be a shopping center, a full-fledged shopping center. So the boats would bring you out to a dock and you'd end up there. I'll try to walk through and see if we can get in there. I yeah, I thought it was going to be too, but nothing happened. Let's go roundabout. Did they have the didn't they have the beer place in here? Oh yeah. And sharkies. Alright. Facilities. They just scaled it all off. They got. Look at that. The roof is all falling apart. You got water stains coming down. Let me put you guys across the fence. You guys can get a better shot than what I can see. This used to be a shopping center, you guys, fenced off. And then on this side, you got a golf course. 
I guess get the Jeep back when we get on. All right, so we're at the back side. So this is look like this. From about let's say the early 2000s. Used to be restaurants. They had a place called Sharky's. They had a beer factory. They used to make their own beer. Sunset view. And the ship is way out there. Now you guys can see it. It's one of the many ships that come in uh, visits throughout the week. Most of the ships they go from island to island serving as like a hotel. They go from Honolulu to Big Island, Maui, and back here and then back to Honolulu again. So it's a good way to see all the islands and have your uh, hotel taken care of. Good old RV hotel situation. Golden Princess. I've been told that that's the name of the ship here by my co-captain here on, on set. Uh, my brother Gerald, he's informed me. So look at this, you guys, it's so wasteful. Look at that. And then you got the new building right there, it's the whole koala. Hopefully I'm on the camera doing this on blind so I don't know if I'm on film or what and I just want to see how the audio works as well when I go back and look at this uh, it will give me more of an idea of how to use this camera properly I put a little background music to this because that's what I usually do but if they're looking at me let's look at what's going on Flip you guys around, hope that wasn't like a full tornado, hurricane, earthquake situation. ship they had like some PA announcements and stuff and I turned it off because I was trying to run and catch it it's one of the things that I can't do to zoom in too much on this so I was hoping to get myself in a situation where I could get a better shot of it but I didn't make it 
but I'll show you the trail that I ventured off to make that attempt pretty long. You can probably make out the ship. Small little dot there up in the was on the left side. Might see some chickens there. Pretty much the bird of the islands. Pretty much I ran through all of this. This is a trail going down to the beach, by the way, because you have to have access to the beach. They can't own the beach. Although sometimes people have a hard time finding them because you gotta look really good for those little seams and cuts to get down there. It's not gonna be too obvious. Then I came up this way. Got a little septic tank down there, you know. So if there's any working toilets, it's gonna flush and go into there. And we climb into the top. Like I said, here's some of the old shopping center now. They got it all fenced up. Not sure what they're gonna do. I don't know if it's because they're going to try to fix this place or if it's just going to go for demolition. But we'll, uh, we'll put it over there so you guys can see more than I can. So where that little Sesame Street light is at the porch, I believe that was more of the restaurant area. And then to your right, that was the shopping center with the glass windows and stuff like that. Small little stores, like a small little Liberty House, which was bought by Macy's later on. Yeah, that's about it over here. I haven't walked through here for a while, so I figured if I was going to come and take a look, it's going to bring all my viewers with me. This pretty much is just going to go right back to the parking lot. And yeah, the golf course is just right there. That's where they're playing golf. You can tell we get a lot of rain because... Like Look at that, guys. Man. Seems like it's a hundred years old, but it's not. It once was an upscale kind of a thing. It wasn't even one of those cheapy discount things. This was this was a luxury shopping center here. You know, kinda like a boutique if you will. But like everything else here today, gone tomorrow. Leave in the comments below what you think they're gonna do. Knock it down, renovate it. I think by looking at it, the easiest thing to do, uh, just have one of the characters from Rampage come down and just sit on this shit. Look at the gutters over there. Full-fledged plants growing out of the gutter. Look at that. that like, like for real. There's trees ready to come out of the gutter. That's bad. Look at that, the moon. I don't know if you guys can see, but the moon is really visible. And I don't know what's around the corner. The golf course, of course. Oh, it's 
been alerted at an airplane. He's either landing or taking off. But, uh... Oh, there it is, guys. Hawaiian Airlines. Good, good call, Joe. Got the airlines with it. This is an inner island jet. Thankfully, I have my co pilot, my brother here, alerting me potential cool things to put in the film. Danger restricted area. Don't worry, I don't think anybody wants to go in there. It doesn't, doesn't look inviting. Maybe if it's the month of October, they think there was a haunted house or something, but nope. No, thank you. One of the coolest things that they ever did was they have a ladies and a man's bathroom. Usually there's only one and you got to share, but look, there uh, there's two of them. So I guess it's one man's, one ladies, and it looks like somebody is in one because it's red. Or maybe they're just too lazy to change the sign. But give you guys another look at the resort pond over there. I don't even know if there's fish in there. Is is it even like some life in there, or is it just all aesthetic? 